After round 21, the verdict is in. G'day everyone, Matt Thompson alongside Match Review Panel Chairman Mark Fraser. Well, let's start with Port Adelaide's Hamish Hartlett. He's being charged with rough conduct, negligent, high impact and high contact. Three matches for this one, down to two with an early plea. Mark, talk us through it. Yeah, this was uh, an interesting case. Um, head clashes are deemed to be circumstances outside of the control of the player, uh, but our interpretation of this um, contact was that Harlots bump tape, um, and whilst our head clashes occurred, we believe that there was enough contact with the shoulder um, to the head to answer a charge of uh, rough conduct. So you can see he comes in here, and whilst the head clashes occurred, there's also the shoulder to head contact there, um, and we think that that um, is worthy of a charge of rough conduct. Yeah, and that's, I guess, drawn some really interesting comparisons, hasn't it, in terms of some of the other incidents that have happened this year. This has been one of the real talking points of the season. The Lindsay Thomas one on Ben Reid, all the way back in round one. Can we take a look at this? What, what's the difference? Yeah, here with this one, you see that there's a body bump by Thomas and then there's the head clash that occurs, which is obviously what causes the injury. So we believe he's uh, delivered a, a legal bump there, so the bumping of the bodies, no high contact with the, the bumping of the, the body so into the head, um, and the head clash is accidental. Yeah. Or, yeah, circumstances outside yeah, of the And control. obviously the key difference, I guess, was that um, in this case Hartlett's been penalised, Thomas was cleared on, on that earlier occasion, but you say they're very different incidents. Yeah, we believe they're different. All right, now to Dean Cox. He's been reported by the umpire for striking Joel Salad. Intentional, low impact and body contact, this one. He can escape with a reprimand uh, with an early play. Limited vision of this incident as well, Mark, as we take a look at the tape. Yeah, there was limited uh, vision, but the umpire saw it um, on the day, so um, he reported it. Um, you can see there that... Um yeah, when uh, Selwood's running down, he um, does give a little bit of a, a cheap shot into um, Cox, who then retaliates um, with uh, more force. So we didn't think there was much in the first contact, but in the, the second one, obviously, the umpire reported that, and we think there's enough for a low-impact strike. And this is a case where Dean Cox has been helped because he's got a pretty good record, yeah? Yeah, he's got the, the good, good record, so that drags it down, and his reprimand becomes a lesser reprimand. Yeah, OK. Now, Scott Selwood's been cited for tripping Mitch Duncan. This one was assessed as intentional low-impact and body contact. He can escape as well with the reprimand, one match if he tries to fight it. Yeah, in this one, um, Duncan's sort of pushing the ball forward. He kicks it and pushes it forward. Um, and then Selwood sticks out the leg and trips him up. Um, obviously, uh, we don't think that the, that's the, the right thing to do. Um, it's a reportable offence. Um, you've got to be careful with a, with a trip because it can uh, potentially break somebody's leg. And we don't think um, that he's going for a tackle or trying to kick the ball. We think that's an intentional trip. All right, now Simon Black's been offered a week for striking Callan Ward. This one was looked at and judged intentional, low impact and high contact. The game with this one, uh, vision limited, two matches down to one with an early play. Yeah, with this one, Black and Water running in that middle of the ground. Um, then you see uh, Black swinging his left arm round and uh, makes high contact. Uh, Ward's head flings back. So um, we believe that that uh, is uh, enough of uh, uh, evidence to show that there's been a strike high and um, of uh, low impact. OK, you're watching The Verdict. Mark Fraser is with us. We do have a couple of more incidents to look at for you, particularly from the Hawks-Pies game. First of all, uh, Quinton Lynch on Sam Mitchell. Yeah, this is uh, one where Quinton's obviously running off the ground there um, and then Lynch bumps into Mitchell. We think that's a body bump. A free kick was paid for that at the time and we think that that's uh, enough. After receiving the medical from Hawthorne and looking at that vision, we thought uh, the free kick was an appropriate penalty. All right, and did you look at this one as well, Tyson Goldsack on Jack... Gunston? Yeah, we looked at that one as well. Um, with this one, uh, Pendleby gets the ball, handballs it out in front, and there's a shepherd there um, on Gunston. Um, the majority of the force is to the body, um, and there's minimal, if any, high contact, so we believe that's a, a decent shepherd. All right. All clear. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, Mark. No worries at all, Matt. Mark Fraser with us, the chairman of the MRP. That's all we've got for you for this week. A full text report on all of the incidents is available online for you. The players charged have until 11 Eastern tomorrow morning to lodge a challenge with the AFL if they so wish. We have plenty more news for you as it happens as well here on afl.com.au. We've got it covered for you in our footy feed each afternoon. For now, I'm Matt Thompson. Thanks for watching. Yeah.